Hello everyone, I'm Tracy and I'm from the Tiny Pandora design team and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple pendant using a silk screen but only using part of a silk screen and also using some leftover clay. I literally have a piece of leftover clay from the end of the Skinner blend. I just wanted to straighten off that end just to roll it up. I could have rolled it all up but I just decided I actually quite like this and I thought a nice little pendant out of that would be really cool. So uh, let's have some fun. See you soon. Okay, hopefully you can see my work surface okay. And I will show you the silk screen that I'm going to use. And this is a tribal silk screen and it is from tinypandora.com. And I absolutely love this silk screen. You can also get the inverted side. I'm never too sure which one I'm using. But this is the one I'm going to use today. So um, let's have some fun. So first of all, you're going to want your piece of clay. And this really is, as you can see from the sizes on here, just a very small piece of clay. But it's enough to make a pendant. And I just really like the colours. So I'm not too sure which way I'm going to go up. I think I might go with the white possibly being at the top so let me see if I can do it this way and don't worry about all of these little bits it doesn't matter and on these uh, silk screens you'll have protective cover and it's the sticky side that you need to put down on your piece so I actually want to just marry this up and try and get it as central as I can and actually where I want and the colours I possibly want to incorporate so I would like to maybe have a little bit of white and possibly some of the green if it will fit with the um cutter that I'm going to use and now you just want to adhere that down make sure it's nice and flat and also feeling for any sort of air bubbles and just make sure that's stuck there now quite nice I think I can feel one just there but I'm sure that'll be fine and then really dependent on what your leftover piece of clay is and what colours they are as to what colour paint you want to use I'm just going to use a white it's very easy to see and I'm just actually going to put this actually straight on to my little scraper and you really don't need very much that's probably a bit too much to be honest and then I'm just going to pull this across just the piece I want to use so I don't need to even go right to the edges if I don't want to and it's just enough to get the pattern that I want to incorporate and that's all we need to do and then just have some tissue ready to wipe your scraper off and also you're going to need a bowl because you do need to make sure that you can soak your silk screen straight away to prevent it from getting ruined. And then when you pull that off, you see the lovely, lovely design. I absolutely love this design. And then, depending on which um, cutter you want, you know, you can move this wherever you like, but you can get these central designs. You can incorporate a bit of the lighter colour, or you can go down further and you can incorporate the sort of more darker colours, so it's up to you. So I have actually done you one already, so it's nice and dry, so as we can actually see what it looks like, and I'll put this one to one side to dry. I have that one ready here. So, exactly the same piece, it was literally about the same sort of size, but I just cut it in half. But this is really just to demonstrate to you how little a piece you need to use, and also that you don't need to use the whole silk screen. You know, sometimes you get a silk screen, you think that's wonderful, but what am I going to use it for because it's so big or I'm never going to do one piece that size. You don't have to. You can take little bits out of the silk screen and make some pendants, earrings, anything you like. So now it's just a case of where I want to actually have this cut. And I really love the fact that you've got this real sort of tribal look. I'm going to try and get this as central as I can make sure I can incorporate everything I want so I've got a little bit of the lighter colour up there and I'm just going down very gently just to make sure I can get that and I'm just going to use this is actually the swirly bead acrylic piece from uh, Tiny Pandora which is really useful for this sort of thing because these cutters I've got here are actually quite sharp both sides so I'm just going to make sure that's gone down on there Remove that you can remove this piece of clay now you can just rework that back in with the scrap from the other piece if you want to and it, the white will 
practically disappear. So um, you've still got some fairly nice colours in a, in a leftover clay. So now I've got that lovely piece there. I could bake that like that if I wanted to, but I'm going to be a bit silly. And this is probably not what you're supposed to do, but um, hey ho. I'm going to actually get my thinner blade and I'm just going to take this off very gently. Make sure it is the blade end, yeah. Very gently, I'm just going to remove this from here. Oh, I do love this design, I think it's so pretty. And it's just turned a very simple piece of clay into a really lovely pendant. And now I've just got this actually is some more leftover clay which was just a few colours mixed so it's a bit like a sort of a lilac-y colour. I'm just going to place this on down here, place this back on the top and just make sure that I can put it down so as hopefully I get no air bubbles in it. And I'm just going to push that down and all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a little bit of parchment paper um, just to make sure that I can really can flatten this out. I'm just going to burnish it ever so slightly and just make sure that it is, I can feel no bubbles or anything underneath. I don't want to go too hard because obviously I don't want to get rid of the texture on the back. And then I'm just going to use my cutter again. Now you may notice when you do this that it will take part of it off. It will do because I've where I've burnished it, I've, I've spread it out a little bit. So we're just going to take this and just make sure it does go as close as we can. And once again, a piece of acrylic. And that way it gives a nice edge to both pieces. And then all I'll do is just take this off. Move that to one side. And there we've got a really nice edge to our pendant. Now you can bake it like this and then give your edge a nice little sand and that's probably what I will do is um, I might see if I can just tidy it up a little bit saves me doing it afterwards. I'm quite happy for this to be flat because I quite like the fact that what I could do with this is I can put either deep shine on it or I can put the matte finish on it or I can put uh, the Lisa Palveca um, doming resin on it so it's really up to me which I want to do what look I want when it's when it comes out of the oven so I'm going to actually bake that just like that and um, I shall see you all shortly okay so I've got one piece underneath the UV lamp and that piece has got the um, deep shine on by the Lisa Pavreka and you can get that from Tiny Pandora too and the next one I'm actually going to use the mat and this is from Tiny Pandora too and this is actually made by Teresa herself she designed this one so I'm going to try this piece with this on just to see what the difference is between the two and uh, you really do need that was far too much um, but that's really such a little amount and I'm also going to put this back in the oven and bake it for about 15 minutes because that is supposed to give it um, an even matter finish. You may get a slightly sheen to it, but it's not going to have the shiny coat that the um, obviously the deep shine will. So I'm just going to give this a coat and this will actually help seal the acrylic paint. So you do really need to put something on, especially if it's a piece of jewellery, um, because, uh, you know, you don't want to rub that acrylic off because it will eventually wear. And um, as we all know, us ladies, when we wear our pendants, we do tend to show them off and we like to touch them. So ideally, we need something to cover them. So I'm just going to give, make sure I've got that as neat as possible. And uh, these lovely brushes are from Tiny Pandora. They're the Goldilocks range. Brilliant value. So I'm liking that and I actually don't mind if it ends up with a little bit of a sheen to be honest because I quite like that but um, I'm going to pop that in the oven and uh, we'll be back to see the results of the two of them. So hopefully I shall see you all shortly. 
Okay, so pieces out of the oven. This is still a little bit warm, so I'm just going to be a bit gentle with it. Just have a very slight sheen, but you know what? I think a lot of that's to do with um, the actual clay that I used because that did have a mica. You know, it was like the effects. So that's obviously come through, but I'm still loving it. It's not as blingy as this one. And I absolutely love this one too. And I think with the doming, especially on a flatter surface, I think really works very well. So um, that is really a very, very simple pendant. Um, I've just basically made the hole. I put a piece of leather cord. I haven't actually finished it off yet, but I'll just put some cord bits, you know, some crimp beads or something on the end of those. And there you've got just got a very simple pendant, which I think is really effective. And the same with this one. I'll probably do exactly the same. So, you know, for two little pieces of clay that were left, you can use really quite large because this is what? About, let me see now. This is nearly eight inches by about four inches, is it? Four inches, five inches. So I've only used a very tiny part of this wonderful silk screen. So don't ever be frightened to think, oh, I can't really, don't know what to do because you can just use very small sections of it. You do not have to use a whole lot. Obviously, if you do, you can make all sorts of things, lots of pendants, lots of earrings. So that's what I used today in that one. And I used some white paint. I also used the matte varnish from Tiny Pandora, the Lisa Pavelka deep gloss or deep shine. I should note, not the deep shine, sorry, the magic gloss and then the deep shine too, which I just used along the edges. You don't have to, you could use the varnish along the edges if you wanted to, but I just wanted to finish that piece off. And I also used, when I took these pieces off, just a little nail file, just to sort of take off that sort of edge around it. But you know, I think for something really quite easy um, to make, you could give it as a gift, just wear it yourself. You could match it up to something you wanted to wear. So I think it's um, something, you know, really quite pretty and very simple very effective then uh, you can get an awful lot out of a little bit of clay so let's just move this back up I'll turn these lights off and I'll just go and turn my big light on that's better and you can actually see me hopefully um, so yes yeah, so please you know have some fun if you want to ask any questions please do if you want to know how to apply the deep shine or the, the um, magic gloss, there is other videos on the Tiny Pandora design team um, on YouTube and you can see how that was done. So um, I'm sorry if the lighting has not been great. I've had so many problems. I've tried to use my lamps, my window. It's just been absolutely a nightmare. But uh, hopefully you can see this video. So um, have some fun, everyone, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.